Hello, I'm Vernie Norcott Mahaney. I work at the Blueford branch of the Kansas City Public Library. April is National Poetry Month, and every day in April I read a poem al aloud. In 2018, I have chosen to read poems by William Wordsworth, uh, one of the um, English Romantic poets. The, uh, <clears throat> the next poem uh, that we're going to read is Lucy Gray or Solitude. Now, there are several Lucy poems, um, and it's unclear whether Lucy Gray, the, the child in this poem, is the inspiration for the Lucy in the other Lucy poems. Um, here, clearly, Lucy is a child uh, who dies um, in, in a winter storm, um, and um, this apparently was something that did happen that uh, Wordsworth became aware of, and I guess it's sort of stuck in his mind. The other Lucy poems um, are really sort of poems about unrequited love. Uh, Wordsworth apparently had a fondness for this other Lucy, uh, whether she was real or not, um, but it never quite gets to the point where uh, that love is sort of consummated in any real way. Uh, the Lucy in those poems dies as well. Um, so whether this is the same Lucy or not is unclear. So today's poem, Lucy Gray or Solitude. Oft I had heard of Lucy Gray, and when I crossed the wild, I chanced to see at break of day the solitary child. No mate, no comrade Lucy knew. She dwelt on a wide moor, the sweetest thing that ever grew beside a human door. You, yet, may spy the fawn at play, the hare upon the green, but the sweet face of Lucy Gray will never more be seen. Tonight will be a stormy night. You to the town must go and take a lantern, child, to light your mother through the snow. That, father, will I gladly do. Tis scarcely afternoon. The minister clock has just struck two, and yonder is the moon. At this the father raised his hook and snapped a faggot band. He plied his work, and Lucy took the lantern in her hand. Not blither is the mountain row with many a wanton stroke, her feet disperse the powdery snow that rises up like smoke. The storm came on before its time. She wandered up and down, and many a hill did Lucy climb, but never reached the town. The wretched parents all that night went shouting far and wide, but there was neither sound nor sight to serve them for a guide. At daybreak on a hill they stood that overlooked the moor, and thence they saw the bridge of wood a furlong from the door. They wept and turning homeward cried, in heaven we, shall, we all shall meet. When in the snow the mother spied the print of Lucy's feet. Then downwards from the steep hill's edge they tracked the footmark small, and through the broken hawthorn hedge and by the long stone wall, and then an open field they crossed. The marks were still the same. They tracked them on, nor ever lost, and to the bridge they came. They followed from the snowy bank, those footmarks one by one, into the middle of the plank, and further there were none. Yet some maintain that to this day she is a living child, that you may see sweet Lucy Gray upon the lonesome wild. Or rough and smooth, she trips along and never looks behind, and sings a solitary song that whistles in the wind. So that was Lucy Gray or Solitude by William Wordsworth.